I work on the process of neuroinflammation. Uh, and this is what happens when you get an overactive immune system in your brain. And what we're finding more and more now is that this overactive immune system is hugely damaging uh, in loads and loads of different brain diseases. And so we're trying to work out exactly what's happening and try and develop ways to stop it. I did an industrial placement before I started my PhD and found out about my supervisor through that. You'd be amazed how small world it is in science. Uh, and as a result of finding out about him, I found out that I could apply for an MRC DTP PhD program uh, and then applied and was interviewed and got accepted. I'm funded by the Medical Research Council and I applied to the program because the MRC funds some of the best and most highly competitive PhDs in the country. And this one in particular was the best way that I could get involved in some of the most exciting research and one of the best institutes I could work at. Thanks to its size and the way it collaborates so closely with everybody, it's really easy to try and pursue any other techniques that I can think I can get involved in. Uh, as with any PhD, I've come across quite a few hurdles in my time here. Uh, but the best thing about being in my research group in particular and being part of the Doctoral Academy in Manchester is there's always someone there to talk to, uh, to give you a pep talk and to really turn your attention back to trying to get everything back on track. Being part of the Doctoral Academy community is great. You can share successes, share failures and there's just always something going on. There's events almost every week for any sort of person and it's just one of the best ways to really get together as a postgraduate community. Manchester as a city is similar to the university, it's huge. It even comes down to just if a band is playing a gig somewhere in the UK, you can pretty much guarantee they'll have one in Manchester. And that's just one of the reasons being in Manchester is such a great place. I'm through to the finals of the FameLab competition, which takes place in London. And uh, this competition is kind of like the X factor of science communication. And I went through the Manchester heats and then won the Northwest regional final. FameLab is a really fantastic competition in terms of getting your research and getting your ideas out there. You get three minutes to present a scientific concept of your choice. And at that competition, we had a lot of people from the University of Manchester and it's really I've got to say thanks to all the training and just the focus that we have here at Manchester on public engagement and it's one of the best places to have that.